Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'm taking a look at the Pulse Fire Dart mouse from HyperX. So this is a wireless mouse um, that I got off Amazon and it is not a mouse that they'd recommend for APS but it is RGB so that's great. Um, and it comes with a uh, two years warranty just like any other HyperX product. So that's one of the main reasons I chose it. So this mouse, like I mentioned, is not a gaming mouse. It's not for FPS games, so it's not like ultra fast, but it does the job for someone like me that just edits video and creates some content and things like that. Um, so in the box, there's nothing special. The, you do have like a warning there um, about uh, updating the firmware when you turn it on. And uh, this is something I'd recommend you do so you can adjust some of the lighting effects and things like that. Um, so just like every wireless mouse, it has a USB dongle. Uh, so this is a small dongle that you connect at the back of your computer. Um, and uh, this is uh, sort of the receiver that is going to link the USB of your computer with the mouse. And so the both of them can communicate. So the mouse is all black, it's uh, pretty sleek. The buttons are made of plastic and at the bottom you have a small on off switch. I'll get back to that. Uh, of course, you got some user manuals, uh, papers and other things. Um, I don't know why they put so many papers in there. It's not really any useful. I don't know How about you. I mean, and then, uh, yeah, so this one is, okay, so user manual, which cables go where? What you got in there? Okay, oh, and then it's all the warranty papers and all that stuff. Um, right, okay, so let's put that one aside. I'm really bad at this folding. It's kind of like, you know, folding maps. I don't know, I never could, never could get my head around it. Uh, oh yeah, and then you have a little uh, pouch there, or like a little box at the bottom of the packaging, and that's where you have a USB cable. Uh, so this is something um, that you will need because basically uh, with this mouse you can't uh, update the firmware without the USB cable. Uh, but this is pretty cool uh, because it basically also serves as an extension uh, which is useful when your PC is under the desk and the wireless reception from the mouse is not so great. Uh, so you can just have that hooked to your computer and it sort of has like a, like a little rubber thing so it doesn't slip away. It's not like I'd probably double-sided it uh, to, with some tape to my desk. Uh, on top of the mouse, you have a small button to change the colors effect, and it just sort of resets it to a new color by default. So I'm assuming uh, you'd have to use the software, and I'll probably make a walkthrough video for, for that later. Um, so, yes, yeah, so on the sides you also have two buttons. Uh, that's pretty usual for every mouse nowadays, so you can configure them to do whatever you want. Uh, by default, it's kind of like stuff like page up, page down. Um, and then in the front, which is really cool, and props to HyperX for that, Type-C USB, so this is, uh, this is great. And the way the Type-C works is that you just remove that little uh, adapter there and then you connect your Type-C at the front of the USB. Uh, so HyperX, please just uh, drop all your micro USB that you have in other places, like that podcast mic uh, I, mic I have on the side of the desk, and just use uh, this Type-C everywhere. So on the bottom of the mouse, that's where you have the on-off switch. Um, and then again, nothing special about that. Um, I have no idea how long the battery life lasts, but it should last you for a while. Uh, and if you deactivate RGB, it should last you for even longer. Overall, the feel is pretty good, I think, for a mouse in general. I do feel like there's a bit of drag in the front of the mouse. Like You can see it when I slide, slide it over on the desk. The top part of the mouse sort of like drags or like drags behind. So the weight is not like super well, you know, super well placed around the mouse, but it is, I mean, it, it is not a huge problem. Uh, cool thing also, uh, like I'm just seeing now on the side, so you have um, some kind of like rubber or like soft rubber pads. Uh, and that's that's nice. It feels good. It feels like you can squeeze your mouse between uh, your fingers there. Uh, so that's quite cool. And the little wheel doesn't squeak, doesn't do any noise. Obviously, it's new, so you'd, you'd have to see uh, over the few over the few like months or years that you're going to use it. But overall, it's a pretty good mouse. I mean, 
for the price you can get this one it's actually a quite decent mouse it is definitely not as good as some of the other expensive ones but it will definitely do the trick i'll make a, another video for the software walkthrough uh, until then uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's really appreciated bye